Welcome to the 24th annual Rondo Day Parade. It is July 21st, 2007, and we're coming to you live from the deck of the Sterling Club, which is the second oldest black men's social club in the United States. I'm Stanley Freelix. And I'm Bernard Foster. As you see, we are, we're already into the parade here. We've had the color guard come by along with the VFW, which is the veterans, and the children are carrying various flags showing the community diversity. And today's Grand Marshals for the parade are the state champion Central's St. Paul Central High School basketball team. They should be coming into view very shortly. Actually, Stanley, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a year since we did this. We have a beautiful day here. It is a beautiful day, and, uh, and, and we're always thankful that we have such a good day for the parade, get lots of the community out here, and as you see, we got the blooms going, the colors are out, and everybody's having a really good time so far. You see, we're across from the uh, People's Park here, and uh, it seems like everybody's uh, starting to fire it up in the park and have a good time there, too. Now the scout troop, troop that we have coming up here to join efforts, part of the St. James Troop 56, I believe. Make that a correction, it's Troop 405. They used to be 56 years ago. They must have combined two churches together because I know there's part of the Camford group there and the Cub Scouts. All right. You know, more of the youth, the young boys should get into that. Take it away, Vion. Hi, once again, it's Vion Braddock Birch down at the 24th Annual Rondo Day Celebration. An old tradition for a new beginning. I have Paris Prescott Menifee Birch here, my niece. And how long have you been coming to Rondo, Paris? For the past 24 years. And what brings you to Rondo? It's a good community celebration. My parents um, explained to me what Rondo was, and they passed down the traditions. And this is just fun getting, ba getting back into the neighborhood and getting to see the people I grew up with. Thank you, Paris. Back to you, Stanley. All right, we're coming back live from the deck again. All right, here goes the Grand Marshals. Now, this is the St. Paul Central Girls basketball team. I see two of the coaches there, but where are the girls? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a little hot there in the sun there. They're probably enjoying a little oh, bit. Oh, here of they are. Here they are, here in the back ah, of the truck. hiding on the rear truck. Of the truck. I'd like to congratulate them. They had an undefeated season this year. Set a few records, and we're all proud of them, and it's good to see them out enjoying the community as well as uh, participating with the community. And coming up next is Mayor Chris Coleman. Mayor, Mayor Coleman. Chris Coleman's roots in St. Paul run deep. He is a lifelong St. Paul resident, born in 1961, and is one of seven children in a classic St. Paul Irish Democratic family. He believes that education is the core to the quality of life in St. Paul, and he believes that St. Paul is blessed with a beautiful urban environment. He has appointed an environmental coordinator to help strengthen our commitment to clean water, clean air, and alternative energy for a greener, more substantial St. Paul. And actually, there goes the chief of police, John Harrington, and part of his staff. He's getting that exercise. He's out walking today. I thought they'd be riding in the back of the squad car. <laughs> oh, they don't ride in the back of it, do they? And here's a rig from the fire department, ladder company number 18, off of University Avenue in St. Albans. There's a familiar face there driving a the truck, riding the Edwards. He's been a firefighter for the last 25 years. And also my cousin, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to say I taught him how to drive, but, uh, huh. well. What, what brings you to ride? Uh, well, we just like to come back every year and see family and friends, and we've been doing it for about 10 years now, so. And you bought your whole family. Hi, kids. Leah. Enjoying the day. What about wife? I'm Nancy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Back to you, Stanley, Bernard. Well, we just missed the founders of uh, Rondo Days, Floyd Smaller. They just went fast in the car, and there's St. Peter Claver contingent with Father Kevin. 
He coming up next is the Johnny Babies. Blackbone, black owned Byron Establishment, Corner University and uh, Chasler here in St. Paul. In the normal bill. Yeah, we have uh, we have Cynthia Price, co-owner of the bar, coming up in the uh, with uh, Norm, along with Mary. <laughs> And coming up next are the volunteers for Deb Montgomery, St. Paul City Council representative in our ward. Novi. There's Deb with her staff. She's got a bunch of them there today. get one of these vehicles and make all that racket. <laughs> I'm glad we have a short route. A few of them little ones look like they're out of gas already. Yeah, the temperature had been a little bit hotter. They would be falling like dominoes. I'd like to take that boat and put it on some water right now. That'd be great. Actually, we just had the Capitol Hill Magnet School. Capitol Hill Magnet School is a full-time academically gifted and talented program for students in grades one through eight. Learners experience a challenging academic program designed to develop skills in critical and creative thinking. And our community nurtures a school climate of respect, high expectations, civic responsibility, and cultural understandings. And as like you to commend see all the students by. there. As you see coming by now is the Ramsey County Sheriff's Department, established in 1849. It is the oldest law enforcement agency in Minnesota. They provide police services to seven contact cities, operate in, operate in pre-trial detention facility, and perform a whole support services. And also assisting them with the Girl Scout Troop number 194. Wait for the Colleen. Wait for the go. Wait for the go. Well, Vian, do you have any people down there you'd like to speak to? We got Irene down here, and she's been here for since it started, 24 years. What brings you back to Rondo for 24 years? To to watch all this, all the beautiful people, and all the people that started this, and 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 everything for the community, and everybody gets together and enjoy themselves. Were you born in Minnesota? No, I wasn't. Okay, but you still find time for Rondo. Thank yes, you. Yes, I do. Back to you, Stanley. All right. What do we have up here next, Dan? The Museum Magnet School. And the group from the Benjamin May School. Capital Magnet School is a full-time, academically gifted and talented program for students in grades one through eight. Learners experience a challenging academic program designed to develop skills in critical and creative thinking. Our community nurtures a school climate of respect, high expectations, civil responsibility, and cultural understanding. All right, now coming up here is a group from the NAACP, the St. Paul chapter. And the group from Pilgrim Baptist Church. Pilgrim was established 144 years ago in the Summit University area. It is the oldest predominantly African-American church in the Twin Cities. I'd like to thank them and their staff for their support. 
They've been in the parade since day one. Under that chair right there. That green one. That green one. How you doing, Beverly? And then the little kids there having fun on the float. We'll go back to our eyes and voice in the street. Vion, take it away. Give us another interview. Well, I'm down here on Rondo on the streets, and I'm trying to find someone that wants to get in on an interview here. So let's ask these little kids. What, what do you like this parade that's going on, honey? Do you? Yeah. Did you come here with your sister? Who'd you come here with? Say something. How, are you enjoying the day today? Yeah, I'm enjoying the day. And what brings you to Rondo? You're still young, so you find it fun and. Actually, uh, I was in, I've been in Rondo Days for like 10 years, actually, in the drill team. Okay. And now that I have kids, I just like... Bring them to Rondo. But I've been coming from, to Rondo Days since like 92. Well, keep coming to the celebration. Thank you. Back to you, Stanley. Thank you, Dion. And uh, I'm sorry, Dion, as you see coming by is the St. Paul DFL. It's a local unit of Minnesota DFL workers. Uh, who work to organize and bring about a rep bring about a representative and effective party organization to, to the city level. <laughs> Don't always realize there's so many candidates out I there. I know it. There's a lot of them. <laughs> and Carol. Kevin Ratch, Hillary, <laughs> Kong Tao, All right. and this Vote Betty. All right, all we ask the community to do is exercise your right to vote and get out there and vote for somebody. And coming up next, it is the St. Paul Super Target, which is having the grand opening on July 29th. So all you Target shoppers, I know you can't wait for the new store to open up. And coming up, 89.9 KMOJ. Q Bear and his staff. Was Q Bear still KMOJ, Stanley? I, I yes, he is, as far okay. as I remember and I have heard, he's still there. KMOJ is coming by. Let's go ahead and remind everyone that uh, following the uh, parade here, the festival will start over at the Martin Luther King Center at 12 o'clock, and it will go from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Okay. And at 6 o'clock at Griffith Stadium at Central High School at Lexington and between Marshall and Concordia there, they'll be uh, kicking off the uh, drill event, oh, the drill, team drill competition. competition, and that'll be at 6 o'clock tonight. That should be pretty interesting. Usually there's some pretty good groups from out of town that come and perform. <laughs> Take oh, it away, okay. Vian. Okay, Vian back with Lucille. Lucille was born and raised in Minnesota and really enjoys the celebration we have at Rondo Days. Tell us why. Because it's so much fun. What brings you out every year? Yeah, uh, Rondo Day brings me out. Okay. Anything special you enjoy like, about it? I like watching the kids dance. I like watching everything. Everything's so nice. What about having such a beautiful day today? The day is beautiful. Thank you, Lucille. Enjoy You're the welcome. day. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Back to you, Stanley. Thank you very much. And looks like we got the St. Paul Vulcans coming up. 
Uh, they're an organization that was established in 1886, and it's the oldest operated organization in the country. They promote a rich tradition providing entertainment, education, and community service to numerous parades, schools, carnivals, and institutions. They got those fire red hot suits on. <laughs> the Vulcans. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's running, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to have Looks them. Great. They always liven up the crowd and they're fun. That little kid didn't want a mustache paint on his face. Like we have the, the UNL dance and drill team, I believe. Yes, it is. They'll be in the competition tonight at uh, Griffin Stadium. We're going to get a little performance here. It'll be our first marching group coming through. Where do they get all this energy from? They can pass them my way. <laughs> After all that walking and dancing, I'm ready to go take a nap. There they go. All right, give him a hand, give him a hand. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a UNL drill team. You can check them out tonight at St. Paul's Central High School Stadium in the drill team competition. Once again, back down on the streets at the Rondo Day Parade with Kevy O'Vanner, newlywed. Oh, yeah, Kevy, yeah. what brings you out to Rondo? You said you've been coming every year. Uh, well, I'm a product of Rondo, you know, born and raised right here in the neighborhood. And I have to come out and support because this is a once a year type thing. And with it being once a year, we have to come out as a community and support because we're still a youth losing our community. So we have to come out when we have things like this. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Back to you, Stanley. We have the Melvin Carter group here. Melvin Carter III for City Council. Melvin's the DFL and Labor Endorsed Candidate for the City Council Race in Ward 1. Melvin grew up in the Rondo community and graduated from St. Paul Central. Melvin's vision for Rondo and Ward 1 includes safe neighborhoods and affordable, dignified housing. All right, hopefully we'll see you all at St. Paul Central for the drill competition starting at 6 p.m. tonight.
And coming up. Where's the Aurora right? St. Paul? I'm sorry, Stanley. Go ahead. Aurora St. Anthony. <laughs> Neighborhood Development Corporation. They have been serving the Frog Town and Summit University area since 1980. And prior to that, we missed a group from ACORN. ACORN, they're advocates for, you know, fair housing for the disadvantaged. Go take it away, Vian. Carol and St. Albans, that's exactly where everything is happening today. I got Naida Presley here today, and she enjoys coming out to Rondo. Why? Because it's all about us, it's all about family, it's all about history, it's about Rondo, a community that nurtured, built its children, took, took care of everybody, Amen. and this is what it's all about today. It's representation of us as black people, as an economic, strong economic village. And we're here to let the people know about the story and to let everybody know I am Rondo. Thank you, all right. Enjoy your day. Right. Back to you, Stanley. All right. And it's good to have all the people from the community coming out here. Wish we could interview everybody. I believe there's more people that'd like to say how happy they are to be out here with us today. And coming up is a contingent from Metro State University. Metro. I don't believe it. The sun, the sun disappeared for a minute here. Yeah, just giving us a quick breather here for everybody who's not in the shade, you know, to, so they can <laughs> refresh a little bit. And coming up next is the True Breed Motorcycle Club. You think they'll pop any wheelies? I believe somebody will. I think they're waiting for a little clear ground so they can uh, so they can hit it a little bit. I can't hear you over the din. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're gonna need a little space. Yeah, I think they're gonna rev it up a little bit here, make a little racket, so uh, they wanna get a little room here. Smoke the tires. There he goes. <laughs> I wouldn't wanna be in the wake of that. <laughs> I wonder if we can do that with our trucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, here they go. Oh, here they come. Oh, oh. Oh, really. That was A company. I guess we got company B coming up now. What's he, he got get a push there? Oh, oh okay. I guess so. All right. Somebody else lose something? Oh, they got their own cameraman down there. Yeah, I see that. Did they get fast and furious? <laughs> Hitchhiker. But you won't be seeing them doing that on Harleys. That's a true breed motorcycle club, ladies and gentlemen. The 
they got, you see the one riding on there. Oh, they got women too. All right. Got the women's auxiliary coming up. <laughs> and they're getting a big hand. <laughs> uh, go take it away, Via. Beautiful day down at Rondo, especially for young teams. I got a young, young brother out today. What brings you to Rondo Rico? Just the, the religion and just, I've been going for the past years. You're born and raised in Minnesota? Yes, ma'am. And Rondo is a tradition that we love to hold on to. Yes. So we're glad to see young teens come out, which means that you'll be here when we're, when we're gone. Keep it going. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And you know, at the, at the back of the True Breed Motorcycle Club, I believe we actually had some of the women from the Class Act M Motorcycle Club. Oh, that's who a, that was. Which oh, is an all okay. women's of all ages motorcycle group working with youth in the community. All right. Kind of well, slipped up on us there being out of, out, of, out of number there, but hey, I think we got them in there. Thank you, VM. You know, they, they, they had a small group, but they got the loudest, loudest round of applause out there. <laughs> yeah, they did. This young man here says he's been coming to Rondo for how many years? Well, I moved here in 1948. So this young man's been coming to Rondo for at least 24 years. It started. It's been started. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. brings you to Rondo each and every time? Well, I belong to the Elks, and I'm now I'm the Zalter Root of the St. Paul Elks. But you know, we down, we down right now, but we're gonna make a comeback. Well, it's good to see you come out today and enjoy the celebration. All Thank right. You. you have a good day. Thank you. All right. It's wonderful to have someone for, who's been in the community for so many years to be out here with us today. That's it. Yeah, look at him. Enjoying himself. <laughs> the bikers see, are back. We see True Breed is still in the neighborhood. Yeah. And, uh, Maybe the ladies from uh, Class Act Motorcycle Club will come back by for us one more time, too. I know. They're... Maybe they lost something. Okay, while we're waiting for the, the next people to appear, let's go and remind everybody that uh, right after the parade here today at 12 o'clock, we'll kick off with the festival at the Martin Luther King Center, which is at uh, Kent and Igleheart. And we'll break to an interview. Go on, V. I have a 2007 Central High School graduate, Shayla Johnson, here with me today. Shayla, what brings you out to Rondo? Um, we were in the parade for St. Paul Central Girls basketball team because we were number one in state this year, 32-0. Amen. And so um, you're going on to North Dakota for college, yep. but you'll continue to come back for Rondo. Yep. All right. Thank you, Shayla. <laughs> Well, here comes the class act. The girls are riding back. They're riding on their tanks, on their bikes. Yeah. And uh, V, that was good to have uh, someone from the old school from the community and someone from the new, new school, school of the yeah. community. That was just fantastic. You went way back and brought it way forward. As we continue to be entertained by the members of the True Breed Motorcycle Club and the ladies from the class act motorcycle club. And once again to the community, the uh, festival will start at the Martin Luther King Center at 12 o'clock. The interview, there we go again. V? Special interview right now oh. with Jackie Cooper, a member of the Rondo Day Board. Jackie, I know you wouldn't miss it, but what brings you out each and every year? Well, you know, I grew up in Rondo, so that brings me out. And I just love our energy and I love the people. And as you know, you grew up in Rondo, so. Right across the street, right I go hard. Street. So your sister and I, Junal, have been friends for years. Letty, Jocelyn Collins, Shirley, Lynn. I mean, we go back a long way. So, and Laura Robinson, can't forget Laura, because she grew up here on Rondo, too. And I just want to say our board of directors have done an excellent job this year. Don Esther is our, Don Esther Miller is our president. Man, you can't hear nothing with all these motors. It's a happy day. This is a happy day. <laughs> and I like to see our women on these motorcycles, too, but I hope they're uh, being protected and stuff. But uh, also, our vice chair, Bobby Hickman, 
and uh, our secretary, my sister, Deborah Cooper, and our treasurer, Kathy Jones, and the festival chair, Jewel, and Serena have done an excellent job. We're waiting down there for you guys to get done with the parade, and Mark Beecham, our chair for the parade, and Henry Combs has done an excellent job with the walk. I don't know if you guys got a chance to go out and do the 5K walk and run. Did no. you do that today? No. Okay, well, you were working, so that's okay. Uh, but we've got a lot of stuff that we've had here and planned for the festival. And I mean, they're giving us a show here. <laughs> I know you guys are going to be down at the festival soon. And I also want to say a shout out to Lisa Taborn and my sister because they did a great job with the uh, festival marketing. So they get people out this year. And then also Eugene Berenger, who did a great job in getting all our volunteers down there with the festival. So thank, thank you. you for interviewing us. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you, Jackie Cobb Cooper. And, uh, SPNN. Well, we want to thank the um, Sterling, Sterling Club. Club, the Black Men's Social Club, for being set up up on the deck. SPN set up there. And I also want to say my dad couldn't make it here today, but uh, my dad and mom, my mom passed away last year, and they lived in this community for 75 years. Amen. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Vian, for that in-depth interview with Miss Cooper. Great family. And as you can hear from the noise in the background, if you didn't see them, once again, we're being entertained by the True, True Breed Motorcycle Club, as well as the ladies from the Class Act Motorcycle Club. Well, I believe that is it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for the entertainment. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget that at Griffith Stadium there at Central High School at 6 p.m., they'll kick off the drill competition. So we hope that uh, a lot of you will be joining us there. comes. Oh, more motorcycles? No. Okay. Back to the parade here, Stanley. I believe we have the Fairway Foundation coming up. And take it away, Vian. Back down on the corner of Carol and St. Albans with Kevin and Jackie get would up, like to share. Kevin, up, excuse me, and Jackie would like to share one more thing. Yeah, I just want to say I want to thank everybody who participated in the parade today and also our volunteers for the parade. And one person that was also working with Mark Beecham closely, he's on the board of directors, is Nick Khalif. So I, he's a long-standing uh, Rondo community person. And I forgot to mention his name. So a shout out to Nick Khalif, and thank you for being here today too. All thank right, you. Right. So Kenny. Huh? You're here with your daughter. Yeah. She hasn't been around very long, we can tell by her age. What do you want to share with her to make her come back to Rondo every year? Hmm. Well, Rondo represents a sense of community, a sense of family, and a sense of togetherness as a community and what we can accomplish. It's a celebration of our history and our tradition as, as, as a community here in St. Paul. St. Paul has always been a close-knit a community as far as African Americans and, and and from what I know they've always been hard working and accomplished a lot of things you know so I'm very proud to be from St. Paul and to raise my family here and um, that's what I want her to know I want her to have a sense of tradition and family hi hi what's your name Chanel thanks Chanel and Kenneth all right back to you Stanley thank you um, Unfortunately, uh, we did miss, and I do want to mention them, the Fairway Foundation. Uh, they were founded in 1993. They target Twin City youth who wouldn't otherwise be exposed to golfing. They have provided a structured program, recreation, and cultural enrichment to over 5,000 youth over 14 years old. And coming up right now, we have the Midwest Soldiers. Oh, we still have the class. I'm sorry. We, I missed them there because the vehicle went by. Oh, the Fairway Foundation. They can read it. 
Okay. So we do have them here. We did they're, catch they're them. They were ready to tee off. So one of the the first vehicle went by ahead of them, so I guess they're going to retrieve the golf balls up there. Let's see. So the fairway foundation is about to tee off. There Keep they go. Keep their head down. Oh, oh, one guy hit it pretty good there. <laughs> Way to go, kids. Participating in the uh, Rondo Days Parade. Want to see everybody at the Martin Luther King Center. Hello, St. Paul. We love you. We love Rondo Days. New beginning to old tradition. We love it. We love it. Thank you. And that's the Fairview Foundation once again. Making it happen. Okay, here comes the Midwest Soldiers Drill Team and Drum Squad. Okay, performing for us now is the Midwest Soldiers. The Midwest Soldiers Performing Arts Team is a skill-based building program that seeks to attack at-risk youth in the urban communities who is no longer interested in traditional recreational activities. This program has established or has been established since January 2006. It was created to provide our youth with a positive alternative direction for them to from luring them off the streets. Midwest soldiers. Now coming up is the Green Party of St. Paul. The Green Party of St. Paul was formed in 1998, serving the city of St. Paul in the 4th U.S. Congressional District. Their four core values are grassroots, democracy, social and economic justice, ecological wisdom, and nonviolence. I'd like to thank the Green Party for being with us today. Yeah, let's go to Vian for an interview. Hi there, back with uh, Vian, and here I have the Community Head Start. Everyone here is dealing with children. We want to first thank them for their patience. Phoenix here was my daughter's Head Start teacher. We've got Lynn here, and everybody else is all here from Head Start. What brings you out to Rondo? We are part of the community and we're really happy to be back into the community and being out meeting people and, and doing some face-to-face -face conduct. Okay, and you said you're going to have a booth down at Martin Luther King? Yes. So we want to make sure to stop up at their booth. And that's for Community Action Partnerships of Ramsey and Washington County. So our entire agency will be down there, and, and we're here representing Community Action Head Start. Okay, we want to thank everybody. Thank you. And, thank all right. You. We're the people with the little white bus. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Stanley. Thank you, Vian. And uh, right now we have uh, the uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield coming by. Behind them is the Head Start bus. They're part of the Community Action Partnership. Community Action Head Start has been around since 1965. Community Action Partnerships has offered Head Start services in Ramsey County, serving over 1,400 children. And we have the St. Paul Republican Party. The Republicans of St. Paul represent people from all walks of life, including education, government, unions, churches, and small businesses.
going back to an interview there. He's running for school board. Yeah, we uh, fifth term this fall. If we're successful, we're working hard. And uh, what brings you back to Rondo, even though you're not running for something? I know you come. Oh, I I run even uh, when I'm not running. <laughs> okay. The Central basketball team is here this year. I do scoring and announcing for the team, and it's great just to support the community. And come out. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Stanley. Okay, back to Stanley and Bernard here. <laughs> and uh, let's see. We're still with the uh, Republican Party coming by. I said, most of the time you don't realize you have so many uh, people out there running for office. It's a log jam out there. And now, coming up. Really? Mm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, coming into view. This is the Ice Cold Riders Motorcycle Club. They are a part of the Twin Cities Biker Coalition. All shined up and and here and uh, to you, V. One thing about Rondo is it brings out families that have even left the community to come back and just share in this day. And one person back to do that is Ethel Myers. Absolutely. What brings you to Rondo? Absolutely. Uh, these Rondo days have meant a lot to me and my family. I've left uh, the Twin City area for about a oh, total of 20 years, but I'm back this summer to spend the summer with my grandkids and to participate in Juneteenth as well as Rondo days. And it's a beautiful thing to see all these people that I grew up with. Thank you, Ethel. Enjoy the day. Back to you, Bernard and Stanley. All right, and here oh. we have the Mother's First program. They work with pregnant women who have abused drugs, alcohol, with the goal to get them sober before the birth of their child. All right. And the Al Franken group. Al Franken's running for Senate. But where's Al? I'm sure we're going to catch Al here somewhere. And <laughs> okay. I have to wonder what Al's doing, because following Al is the Department of Corrections. And the Department of Corrections is an equal opportunity employee seeking to inform individuals about the DOC as a premier employer. So uh, everybody needs to check it out. We got the DOC vehicle going by now. And we're being followed by the B96 radio. Uh, Street Fleet 1965 uh, Custom Chevy Impala and a Custom Hummer H2 with B Wright, Hot Rod, and Danny, Danny Star. Star, home of the Tony Fly Morning Show. But where's, it, where's the Impala? Oh, that's, I thought it was underneath that banner. No, there, no. I'm looking at an Escalade, so uh, maybe they just uh, customized it. Okay. He should be in politics. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I thought they had these other vehicles with the group, and I see they did a single car flyby with that Escalade on them. So, yes, they uh, did. So they definitely got me on that one. I see we have the UFCW Local 789, United Food and Commercial Workers Union is a, is a homegrown organization representing workers in retail, grocery, long-term care, food processing, and light manufacturing in the East Metro area. Cap, is that, are those the Kappas that are just stepping or what? Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity, which was founded at Howard University in Washington, D.C. Coming up in the red. Right now, it's the UFCW Local 789 coming up. The United Food and Commercial Workers Union is a homegrown organization representing workers in retail, grocery, long term care, food processing, and light manufacturing in the East Metro. Thank them for their support. by the duo from the Omegas. That's it, did the footwork, do it. And coming up is the KC Police Athletic League Marching Sizzlers. KC Police Athlete Marching Sizzlers have been around for 10 years, ranging from ages 3 to 18.
Once again, Casey marching scissors from Kansas City. I don't know if I have anything left, but I'm down here with Kiera and her sister and her, her best friend. And what brings you out to Rondo every year? Um, I, I used to be in a drill team, so I come and support the half but they're not in it this year. And so, but you're going to continue to come? What brings you coming to come out to Rondo? Same thing, just to see the show, how people do. Okay. And then I've got a resident here that is just, just I, from L.A., right, but I'm, you I'm came gonna... back. I come back, I'm a resident, I was a resident of St. Paul during the uh, the uh, time when they took the houses to go through uh, the freeway. Mine included. Yeah, well, and, and so uh, the spirit of Ronald just continues that's with right. you. I, I'm coming back every year just to remember the uh, spirit of the old people that lived here that struggled to make uh, our existence here in, in St. Paul a uh, reality. Uh, and I love coming back here just to, to keep that memory alive. Thank you, yeah. thanks for the interview. Well, one thing, they took my house. They took our house. But I bet you got a nice one. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thanks. Back to you, Stan. Hey, thank you. Okay, and coming back was uh, Street Beat Mobile DJs. And Art Cyrus is walking through right now. And prior to that, it was a Stepping Stone Theater. Stepping Stone Theater serves children and youth of all ages from diverse backgrounds by teaching life skills through the theater. Stepping Stone, Stepping Stone Theater will move to a new home this year in the former Grace Church on Victoria in December. It's Grace in Portland. All right, VM, we have one more interview. Go ahead. Well, I've got the queen from the Winter Carnival from 1996 who decided to, to ride in the parade on this beautiful day. Uh, tell us what brings you out to Rondo. Actually, I am now the prime minister for the St. Paul Winter Carnival, and we're ambassadors to the city of St. Paul. And we're just out celebrating our communities. Thank you. And the spirit continues. Back to you, Stanley. All righty. Who do we have here, Bernard? St. Paul Winter Carnival, the junior senior royalty. They are here year in and year out supporting the Rondo. We have Jessica right. Velasquez, Prince of the Four Winds. Javon Jackson, Lady in Waiting. Azuri. Azuri Blair, Queen of the Snowflakes. Jesse Zenda, King Frost, the 50, 60th, wasn't it? I believe so. Tyler Hamblin, Prime Minister. Sim Franco Jr., Prince of the Four Winds. But I'm going with the junior. Looks like we got the senior royalty coming. Oh no, we got the juniors here. Are we intermixed? Oh, so we're intermixed. <laughs> the senior royalty is King Boreas, Rex, Don Scholler, the Queen of Snows, Cassie Jint, Prime Minister, Maureen Damon, Prince of the Northwind, Bradley Schmidt, Princess of the Northwind, Chelsea Will, Prince of the East Wind, Brian Hardy, and the Princess of the East Wind, Amy Stutzrin. The Prince and Princess of the West Wind, Greg Holowa and Ellen Edwards. The Prince and Princess of the South Wind, Doug Kuchera and Carlene Johnson. And the Captain of the Kingsguard, Tracy Leach. The Sergeants of the Kingsguard, Mark Schaefer. And the Kingsguard, Dave Gripe, Andy Paul, Stacey Lynn, and Rex King. And we can't forget Klondike Kate, Darice Topke. Okay. How you doing out there? And it's good to have everybody here out here with us today. 
Oh, there's yeah. a nice little Chevy. Okay, and uh, let's see. Coming up behind King Boris, we have uh, Waynewood School of Hope. Waynewood School of Hope is a new public ch charter school opened in September of 2007. The school offers 6th, 7th, and 8th grade and is located at 1745 University Avenue West. And from there, we roll right into the we still have Wayne Hope. And coming up behind Wayne Hope, we have the Regalettes, which is a black women's social club founded by Lou Bellamy's mother in the early 1950s. Actually, Beatty Bellamy. Let's go to V for another interview. I'm down here now with Eleanor, who has been coming to Rondo since it started. So what brings you here each and every year? Because of the special activity for me, and I love Rondo Day. So you're going to continue this celebration I'm continue. as long as you can? Yes, I am. I'll okay. do it as long as I can. As long as the Rondo Day, I'll be Rondo Day. What do you like the best about Rondo? I like the drill team, and I like the food, and I like most everything. Well, we're, um, we're glad we got a beautiful day today to enjoy it. Thank you. Back to you, Stanley. All right, Bernard. Looks like we have the uh, Resource Incorporated group coming by with his Young Dads program, wants to develop a new generation of fathers, capable men who are financially responsible, encouraging, nurturing, and emotionally accountable to their children. Resource Inc. Let's go to V for another interview. the Rondo Day celebration with Gerald. Gerald is from the Employment Action Center for Young Dads. That's what do right. you have to say to these young dads that are out here celebrating at Rondo today? Uh, what we would like to tell them, we want you to keep up the good work. We want you to be supportive for your kids. And if you're having any problems with things, you need to come see us because we do a lot of things and we try to support the young dads and help them be better fathers and be in their kids' life. Thanks. Yes, we have an office right there at 849 University, which is on Victoria, and university, so you can come see us. And we also got one in Minneapolis. So we're on both sides of the water. There's no problem for you to come and see us. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for the Thank young you. brothers, young dads. Back to you, Stanley. All righty. Coming up next is Concordia Creative Learning Academy. It's a cheering group of young 12 to 15 year old ladies in grades two through eight. I think the performers are uh, coming up in the rear there. I think we're going to get a performance here pretty quick here. And we have next the Total Victory Elite Ministry. They are a dance ministry that goes to allow youth. You see, they can, they can still have fun in the process of serving God. This could be a good time. Go and give us an interview, Vian. Okay, who we got? Uh, okay, we got Total Ministries coming up, right? Uh, we have an interview going on, but it's not coming through down at Rondo on the streets at the parade beautiful day today and we've got an outstanding resident of Minnesota just come here today what brings you out uh, it's a beautiful day just want to support the community do you enjoy the drill team the parade the food I loved all of it I love to see the young people involved thank you thank you back to you Stanley 
Okay, we're uh, sitting here right now. We have uh, the Concordia Learning Academy, is it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's uh, Total so Victory Elite Ministry. Victory Elite Ministry here. And I believe we're going to get a performance here. Okay. All right, I was just getting into the groove on that uh, one. Yeah, and they just pull the plug on the music. Now yeah, they might be giving us some more. Right? Who do we represent? Who do we come for darkness? The what? The what? The what? The what? Now we come to have church. I, 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 I. I, I. All right. Okay, down here with uh, Derek, a young teen. Derek, what brings you out to Rondo? Well, I'm just representing my church right now. And your church is? UFPC, United Faith Pentecostal. That's good to hear. And with the spirit of Rondo continuing, you'll, you'll come every year? Yes, I will. Thank you, Derek. Yep. Back to you, Stanley. Okay, and uh, coming up next here, well, we still still the total victory <laughs> coming through. Hey, and I'm over here, uh, toy, this way. Behind them, we have uh, Mount Olivet Church. Mount Olivet Church is one of the uh, local uh, churches here over on uh, Central Avenue about uh, McCubbin. Okay, coming in next is the city of St. Paul Human Rights Department. The Human Rights Department enforces Chapter 183 of the St. Paul Legislative Code and Rules, protecting your civil and human rights in the city of St. Paul. They're celebrating their 40th year in service. And up next is the Union Gospel Mission, the Oberboys. Ober Club Community Center. Located at 376 Western Avenue in St. Paul. <laughs> I understand Ober is also having a celebration that's going on. I believe it's going to be held tomorrow down at the Ober Boys Club. That is correct. Western. Tomorrow from 3 to 6. Okay, I think we got an interview with V. Come on, come in, V. Down on the streets once again with Donald. Donald's a longtime resident of Rondo, so we wanted to know what brought him out today on this beautiful day. You know, I love coming here every year. It's a great community activity. It's a lot of fun, good food, a lot of fellowship. I like to come here every year. And that's what we need. Thank you, Donald. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Back to you, Stanley. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Bernard, um, we were just uh, talking about the Overboys Club, uh, having a reunion celebration. Yeah, right, tomorrow. They're going way back for the last 30, 40 years. So all the people in the community, they used to go down there and uh, have fun. Uh, you know what the times are on that? 
Three to six. Three to six. Yeah. And that's our Over Boys Club down on Western and uh, Con St. Anthony. Western and St. Anthony in St. Paul here. The club. The club. <laughs> yeah, I used to, that brought a couple basketball championships down to that club. Oh, I, I hear you. Back in the day, along with our uh, parade director, Mark Beecham, he used to be the center for our basketball team. That should be pretty interesting. Of course, we always are. Let's see, we got the uh, bookmobile coming book by us here right now, yeah. I think it escaped the camera as tiny as it is. It just kind of. <laughs> yeah, we'll be on Ruby and the Wonder Dog right here in a minute here. Where's Ruby and the, the Wonder, Wonder Dog? Dog? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the bookmobile provides bi-weekly services to 50 sites in the city of St. Paul. Rondo sites include the Halle Q. Brown, Benjamin E. Mays, and the Museum Magnet School. And we're still looking for Ruby the Wonder Dog. Come on, Ruby, do your thing. <laughs> Be behind the bookmobile. Ruby's probably writhing in the bookmobile. <laughs> Let's see. Major Taylor Bicycle Club. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Okay, Ruby the Wonder Dog is going to do a trick for us. No Ruby the Wonder Dog, huh? Actually, Maybe Ruby needs some water. Is that Ruby? Yeah, that's Ruby, but uh, I wonder what she's going to do. Actually, as we were looking for Ruby the Wonder Dog, we missed the Major Taylor Bicycle Club in Minnesota. No, we got them right behind the book club there. So. Well, they, they went past already. <laughs> we we're looking for Ruby the Dog, so we can't forget them. It's a, it's an African-American bicycle club for the Twin Cities, established in 2000. They sponsor weekly Wednesday night and Sunday rides in the metro area and out of state. Take it away, our roving reporter. Hi, now, I'm back down on the streets with Lynn. Lynn is really a special uh, Rondo participant. It's because she lives right up the street. But what brought you down here besides being close by, Lynn? A lot of people that I knew from last year, the part where they had the big dinner, and I loved every deal of it, and I gave them a big helping hand. And I praise the Lord. We'll do it again next time. Thank you, Lynn. Enjoy your day. All right. Thanks, Stanley. Back to you. Thank you. And we had uh, a rod of love come by. Yeah. It was Minnesota's pit bull and rescue, rehoming, education. They're the voice of the defenseless. And right now in front of us, we have the Knights of Peter Claver. Okay, the Knights of Peter Claver and Ladies Auxiliary are a national African-American Catholic service organization. They work to promote, promote faith, hope, and charity. I see they're writing in style. about Olivia Dye, waving at the crowd right now. Nope. Hey. Go for it. B, you want to come in down there? Okay, back down at, at Rondo. This is a real special person I'm interviewing today. This is one of the founders of the Rondo Day celebration, Mr. Floyd Smaller. What do you think about Rondo today after all these years? Well, I think we could add a lot more stuff to it, but, but the flavor of it's been great. The spirit of it's been great, and they're carrying on the tradition. That part is important to us. Uh, we got a 25th coming up next year, and we're going to try to do it similar to the first real big. They got some great people working with this organization this year. Donna uh, uh, Miller Morris, who's heading this thing up, has done a terrific job in keeping all of her uh, workers together and keeping the people on task and it's turned out to be a great event and it's a great day for it. My partner over there, Marvin Anderson, 
who was the other co-founder and architect of, of Remember Rondo Days, which is a result of I-94 running through our community. Yeah. And was trying to recreate that feeling, that spirit of homeliness and loveliness and all those kind of things that make people feel a part of a community. And for 24 years, all the different people who have been part of this event, keeping it running, keeping it going, has, has brought that flavor back to the community. And we hope to see it carried on. Even though the community is becoming transient and seems like it's moving away or moving somewhere else, we're going to try to keep the spirit here, keep raising them spiritual babies, and make sure that Rondo lives on. We never want to forget it. Always remember Rondo. Remember Rondo. Thank you, Mr. Smaller. Thank Back you. to you, Bernard and Stanley. Thank you, thank you. Coming into view here, we have the Prince Hall Masonic family. We have uh, Masons, Eastern Stars, Shriners, Daughters of Isis, and Faison Court Number no. 7 Youth Group. They have a pretty large following, don't they? Hmm? As we see the Isaac Sorets, which is a which is a drill team for uh, phase on court number seven. Some disenchanted spectators <laughs> nearby. <laughs> we apologize for that. <laughs> okay, we're on the move now again. Once again, Prince Hall Masonic family coming to. Okay. But once again, we are broadcasting live from the Sterling Club in St. Paul. The medical band, you go. Take it away, Via. Following back with Mr. Smaller, as he mentioned, Mr. Anderson, this is Marvin here, another one of the founders of our Rondo Day celebration. What do you think about Rondo today? Rondo today. Rondo today is like a, a, a memory that's come to life. Yes. Uh, the memory of Rondo is there. The spirit of Rondo is there. And this annual manifestation of that spirit and that memory is something that I, I think will hold the community together for a long, long time. We hope so, yes. We, we look forward to this every year because it gives the community an opportunity to think about some values that were important in our community. Yes. And to bring those values back and give them some kind of current uh, ob observation is what we're all about. This whole Rondo celebration is all about. Remembering Rondo, thank you again. You're welcome. Back to you, Stanley. Thank you, Bernard. We're back again, and uh, it's always good to see uh, everyone out. And of course, you know the founders are going to be out of the Rondo Day uh, Parade and Festival. Oh, most definitely. Actually, it's a beautiful day today. It seems like it's gotten nicer out here. Yeah, we got a nice breeze coming through, so uh, it's feeling real good. We're blessed with a beautiful day once again. work with my mom. Kristen! <laughs> <laughs> a little sound bite there. <laughs> and we uh, still have the Prince, Prince Hall Masonic, Masonic family, family moving through. That is quite a family. Large family there. And coming into view is the Minnesotans, Minnesotans for Obama. Minnesotans for Obama is a grassroots volunteer feud organization seeking positive change by getting the word out for Barack Obama's presidential run.
Okay, and behind the Obama group, we have Tim Dawson coming up with the uh, TD Auto. And that's uh, Tim Dawson. Is one of his youngsters waving to you in the back of the truck. TD Auto. And coming up behind Tim, we have the Urban Academy. The Urban Academy has been open since 2003-2004 school year. Located on uh, Marshall Avenue, just uh, west of uh, Hamlin Avenue. On Marshall Street, just west of Hamlin Avenue. They always also have a charter school at uh, 133 East 7th Street in St. Paul. That's the Urban Academy Charter School. I'm sure those kids can't wait for school to start. <laughs> Right now we have a uh, part of the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. The Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated was born December 4th, 1906 at Cornell University. They became the first black Greek letter organization on, the college on a college campus. Alpha Phi Alpha was founded on the principle of scholarship. Oh, they're part of the Alphas. Yep. Okay, let's go down to VN for another uh, interview there. Hi there, Stanley. Good dancing there from the Alphas. I got Mary Myers down here. She's a longtime resident from Rondo. What brings you out today, Mary? Uh, just to reminisce, see friends, and enjoy the day. And it's a beautiful day today. It's a gorgeous day today. Thank I'm you. A good time. Hi, everybody. Love you. <laughs> thank you, Mary. Back You're to you, Stanley. Okay, thank you. We have the. Uh, Summit University Planning Council coming by. Summit University Planning Council is your neighborhood nonprofit organization bringing residents together to learn about our community and to plan for the future. We help start block clubs, work on crime prevention, hold meetings to discuss issues like new developments or zoning changes. And they sponsor the annual neighborhood cleanup and much, much more. And then we had the Al Franken for Senate come by. Okay, with the uh, Summit University Planning Council come through, which is your neighborhood nonprofit organization, bringing residents together to learn about our community and plan for the future. We help start block clubs, work on crime prevention, hold meetings and discuss issues like development or zoning changes, sponsor the annual neighborhood cleanup, and much more. Let's go down to VN for another interview. Oh, it's been a beautiful day. Everybody's having a great time today. This is Mark Beecham, the director of the parade's daughter. 
Alexis. Adrian. Adrian, <laughs> sorry. They're both beautiful girls. Adrian, what brings you out today? Directing the parade with my dad. And so you're going to keep the tradition and maybe one day be that director of the parade after your dad is retired. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. Okay, it's been a great day today. I, I didn't wear this shirt for anything on a Thursday night. You can come to Johnny Babies and get tacos. I start at 6 o'clock. This is Vian Braddock Birch from Rondo saying thank you and have a great day. Back to you, Stanley. Okay, we got the thank Grand Marshal coming thank through. Uh, excuse me, not the Grand Marshal, but the parade director, Mark Beecham. Uh, he's got that little wave going on there. Oh, look at this. He's, <laughs> been he's been practicing. Yep. And I guess that's going to wrap the parade up then. Well, actually, we, we had uh, the staff from Bethel University with Mao Chang for the Frogtown Summit University. Uh, Oh, there it is. I'm oh, sorry. The Bethel Frogtown Summit University Community Partnership connects Bethel students with schools and organizations in the Frogtown and some university neighborhoods as tutors, aides, and assistants. We also had the Al Franken Vicente group come through before Mark came through. Should we say goodbye? Well, we have to wrap it up here, Stanley. Stanley, yeah. it's always been a pleasure working with you and Vian down there in the streets. This is Bernard Foster on behalf of the it's Summit well University got, community. Thanks for coming out. I hope you all join the uh, rest of the festivities going on today, which uh, the festival will start over at the Martin Luther King Center at uh, 12 noon here and go till 6 o'clock. And at 6 o'clock we'll be up at St. Paul Central at Griffith Stadium there enjoying the dance, the uh, marching competition. So once again, thank you for being with us and we hope to see you again next year for the 25th annual Rondo Day celebration. Thank you. We are out of here. <laughs>